Here is the story of my unending cycle. I was just 13 when the seemingly unending journey started. Now that you're grown up, you need to learn to be very careful, especially when dealing with the opposite sex. This is the time you need to learn to walk on eggshells. Eggshells? What does that mean? It's just an idiom that simply means you need to learn to be very careful. Just imagine walking on an eggshell without breaking the egg. But is that possible? <laughs> but really, Mama, I was so scared. You know, I, I hate to see blood anywhere. I was so going to develop those pimples all over me. I know, I know. But this is just a sign of maturity. Just make sure you use those sanitary towels like advised, okay? Okay, I've heard you. Oh, I forgot. My name is Per. My mom had a snitch for sitting under the tree. She often talks about the symbiotic relationship between man and nature, as in the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the process of breathing, whatever. All right, mom. How much of the oxygen has the tree supplied you this evening? You're not serious. <laughs> Mommy, I need some sanitary towels. I've exhausted the ones you gave me. What? What are you trying to say? It's been three weeks. You mean your cycle is still on? Is anything the matter? Eh? Everything is the matter. Come, come, come. Let me check your eyes. And that was how it started. I was on this bandage of an unending cycle. I started living a different life. My self-esteem got shattered under the mockery of my so-called friends. I began to live a lonely life. My dear, let's not give up easily on pair. It will soon come to an end. But that's what we've been saying. And it's been over two years now. She has completely withdrawn to herself. And she has grown so lean. Even those doctors, they don't have a solution to all of this. <laughs> have you not noticed? That she's now smelling gradually. Hmm. My dear. Yes. I noticed. I didn't just want to mention it. Especially in her presence. We need to get her some heavy perfumes. <laughs> There was this day, I had a heavy flow in school. I couldn't wait for closing hour. 
I was seriously stained, coupled with the fact that I had begun to smell to the people around me. I stepped out of the gate crying. People were making jokes of me on the street. But I suddenly saw a woman who packed a cup right beside me and asked me to hop in. Hop in, girl! Just come in. I'm coming. As soon as I stepped in, I noticed she perceived that terrible other that drew people away from me. But she immediately feigned a smile. Where's your house? Are they lucky clothes? Madam. We are teachers from your daughter's school. Okay. We have a letter for you from the school manager. A letter for me? Yes. yes. Okay. I was advised to be withdrawn from school because my condition wasn't suitable for a learning environment. I started staying at home. <laughs> I couldn't go anywhere. No one came visiting to until one day. I was with my mom in her favorite spot. I was already 12 years gone in an unending cycle. We had just visited a medicine man who gave me several liquids for several purposes. I had gone everywhere. Yes. I mean everywhere with mom and dad on this issue of my unending cycle. I couldn't even think of marriage as a 25 year old. Mom was just explaining to me how I would use the liquid when I saw someone approaching. It's Shewa, my best friend in secondary school. The last I saw of her was when she gained admission into the university nine years ago and had come to inform us. She was preparing for her wedding now and had come to inform us. It was Shewa who led me to Jesus Christ. She had encountered Jesus as an undergraduate in her campus fellowship. She told me of the wonderful things Jesus had done for her. I believed. I knew my predicament was over. Where is this girl? I thought you said she's coming. Maybe you should call her. Ah, Pearl! 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 Tell me what is going on here. Pearl! Were you really serious about not coming along? Ah! Are you not dressed? Dad. Mom. I already told you, I'm now a new creature. My life is governed by a new administration. It's a new dawn for me. My years of woe and sorrows have ended. 
I know that Jesus will heal me. I believe that he will. I'm not going about with you again. Everyone looking for help where there is no help. I'm not going anywhere. Leave me alone. I'm not going anywhere. Hear my, my voice. voice. I know, I know them, 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 and they, they follow, follow me. me. You came for me? Yes. yes. You, you touched touch me. me. How? You can, you can see, see them praying, praying over, over there. there. You claim to be a, a pastor. pastor. But he's actually, actually a businessman. See the lady also over there. She claims to be in a choir. But is actually there to seduce the choir leader. See all those praying over there. They claim to be following me. They are all trooping after, after my, my name. name. But they love it. it. But you pay. Your favorite touched. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I am so against God in this bandage. <laughs> I sing. <laughs> I've spent all I have on physicians. Lots of you from my friend Shoa. And I know you have a solution. Please. Daughter, be of good comfort. Your faith has made you whole. Go in peace. wasn't the same shout like in the beginning. This was a shout of victory, a shout of joy. Jesus healed me. the Lord can be glorified. Oh, Mom, you deserve some alcohol. <laughs> it's okay. But, Mom, why do I feel funny? I'm feeling weird. Weird? 